My name is Riku Maijima, and I'm 20 years old. I'm in a research group on Japanese literature at my college. I haven't had a girlfriend in my entire life, but I love reading. That's why I've been wanting a relationship like the ones you would find in a romance novel. I've been wanting that, but... Riku! You're reading again? Can't you find something better to do? You're looking lame as always. I want to know where you even buy clothes that look like that. You're never going to get a girlfriend at this rate. Shut up, guys. Leave me alone. They should just ignore me if they don't like me. Meijima-kun, don't let them get to your head. I think that your serious face when you're reading looks handsome. This girl's name is Sakura Yoshiwara, and she's older than me by one grade. Everyone in college admires and loves her. I get teased for how I look even at college, but she always nicely defends me. I don't mind it much. Thank you. We're going to buy research material tomorrow, right? I'm so excited! I I've been wanting to read the documents for a while, so I'm also excited. Meijima-kun, I think you'd be more handsome if you cut your bangs. Doesn't it get in the way when you read? No, I'm just an ugly introvert, so... I feel more comfortable hiding my face. I think you're handsome, Meijima-kun. Today is Saturday, and my research group from college gathered to buy research material. We looked around different bookstores in town, and after two hours, we collected enough material. We were on our way to the train station to head home when... I want to read this as soon as possible! I'm thirsty! Let's drink coffee or something before we go home! What? I'm fine with that, but walking around town with Beijima is like a punishment game. People would think we're lame introverts too. You're so right. I don't want people to think that we're with Riku. That's not true. Mejima-kun has the most knowledge out of everyone on our team. Without him, our research wouldn't be going as smoothly. And he's not lame either. Having knowledge and motivation is cool. If only I could be in a relationship with someone like Sakura-san. An introvert that likes reading even till this day and age? I don't see what's cool about someone like that. I'm okay with being an introvert. Until someone that can understand me appears in my life. We were walking around the open space near the train station when a well-dressed man came closer and stopped right in front of me. Excuse me, would you like to be a haircut model? It's a model for a hair catalog magazine. Huh? Me? Come on, there's no way he'd be talking to you. Yeah, there's no way! He's obviously talking to me. Go look at yourself in a mirror, dude. Oh, okay. The guy was clearly talking to me. Oh no! I was talking to you! What? Is this a special feature on how much you can make an ugly guy change? Not at all! This is a special feature of summer haircut styles. We'd really love to feature you in it! I've been looking for haircut models around town for three hours today, but I haven't found anyone as qualified as you! Uh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm ugly anyways. Meijima-kun, you should try it out. You'd look totally handsome. Your side profile when you're studying is dignified and handsome, so I think you'd be super good looking if you cut your bangs. She always says nice things like that. They might just be empty compliments, but they still made me happy. If you say so, Sakura-san. The salon is close by! After Sakura-san convinced me, the handsome hairstylist pulled me into a stylish hair salon. It was my first time ever going to a hair salon, so I was getting cold sweats. This is a popular hair salon that celebrities go to. It was ranked as the number one hair salon in the area. Really? Why would a hairstylist from a store like that ask Riku to be a haircut model? I understand why Sakura-san would come, but why is everyone else following too? At this rate, I was being used as a show. If for some weird reason Riku becomes handsome, I'll shave my head. Yeah, me too! If by some mistake Riku becomes handsome, I'll shave my entire head too. Me too! I could see everyone smirking in the mirror as I got my hair cut. Their presence made me very uncomfortable. I honestly think Meijima-kun would look more handsome if he cut his bangs so that we can see his jawline. You understand too, right? You're right. Riku-kun has a good facial structure. He should stay away from hairstyles that hide his facial lines, because it takes away from his potential. Facial structure? 
I could see my hair getting shorter and shorter in the mirror. I haven't had my hair this short since middle school, so it was a little embarrassing. See? You're super handsome! I knew it was a waste to hide your face with your hair. What? Is that really me? In the mirror, I saw a freshly styled boy that's completely different from my usual plain look. I thought I was looking at a different person and turned around a couple of times to check. But no matter how many times I looked, the person in the mirror was me. Yeah, it looks great! You're the perfect model for this haircut! Meijima-kun, you look handsome! The haircut really suits you! What? You're joking, right? Is that really the ugly Meijima? I can't believe it! You're kidding! If Riku can be this handsome after a haircut, I should probably be able to be even more good looking! Yeah, yeah! We'd like to be haircut models too! I'm definitely sure we'd have more potential than Riku! No, no. You guys shouldn't overestimate yourself. Riku-kun's facial structure is one in a million, and his kind expression matches the hairstyle extremely well. But Otani-san, that's because you're skilled at what you do. No, there are some things that you still can't do even if you have the skills. Let's see. The only people I could use as a haircut model in this group are Riku-kun and that girl over there. Sounds good. You should get a haircut too. I'll put you guys on the same issue. What? What? Me? It's definitely true that Otani-san's talented at cutting hair. But it's not just that. He's super skilled at looking for potential in people. Isn't it amazing that he knows what hairstyle would match a person just by looking at their facial structures? W what do you think? Does it look good? It looks really good on you. You're, You're even, even prettier, prettier than, than usual. usual. Ugh. Okay then. Didn't you three say you were gonna go completely bald? I could shave all three of your heads for free right now. What do you say? Don't tell me you're gonna break a promise with your friend, right? Th that was just an expression. Y yeah we never thought that you were such a talented hairstylist. I used to be on the baseball team, so I was always bald. I don't want to go back to that life anymore. You guys made so much fun of Mijima-kun. You should keep your promise. Well, well, I wasn't too bothered by it. It's fine. You'll, You'll keep, keep your, your promise, promise won't, won't you? you? When I went back to college after getting my haircut, people who never talked to me started to make conversation with me. A haircut really does make a huge difference. Mijima, I'm sorry for making fun of you all this time. You never reacted when we would talk to you, so I went overboard. Can you help us with the sections we don't understand from yesterday's research material? I was president to guess you because you were always so immersed in your studies. Okay, sure. Let's lead through it together. I always hid my face because I didn't like my introverted self. I was the one who assumed that people weren't interested in me. Um, I'm sorry too. I know it must have been hard to talk to me when I was so cooped up in my own world. The following month, the magazine with the special feature of Sakura-san and I was published. Turns out, Otani-san, the hairstylist, was a world-famous stylist who even did styles on collections. Look, Meijima-kun, we're on the cover! That hairstylist really was a famous person! Oh, I'm getting a call from Otani-san! Riku-kun! I want you to be my haircut model again! Is that okay? What? Really? Can I come too? I want to say thank you to Otani-san. This is almost like a date. It makes me feel nervous. Hey, Meijima-kun. I've always liked your side profile whenever you read books in the lab room. You're serious and really smart too. I could tell that you really loved books and I thought you were an amazing person. What? Meijima-kun, it's not like you're uninterested in relationships, right? You might laugh at me for saying this, but... Until I could find someone who I can have a romance novel-like relationship with, I always thought that I was fine keeping my relationship status as is. Then Mejima-kun, will you have a whirlwind relationship with me like your life depends on it? He just quoted the Zai. But that's what the main character said to his mistress. If I'm going to be in a relationship, I want to do it like my life depends on it. I want to talk about books with you, Mejima-kun. I want to talk about the books I like and learn about the books that you like. I want to go bookstore hopping on our days off. 
I'd like that too. I've always dreamed of having that kind of relationship. No matter how much my appearance changed, my personality might still be dull and boring. Still, I always believed that I would find someone who would love me for who I am. Let's be in a relationship like your life depends on it sounds like a wonderful saying. Being able to share something you love with a person that you love must really be a wonderful feeling. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.